What's up and welcome to the video. So today we have another interesting product, but full disclosure, uh, it's a product that we've never really reviewed on the channel. And quite honestly, I am not qualified to talk about. So sitting next to me is Gage from iGageit. He's a smart home guru. And uh, Gage, why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, man? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I am iGageit and I have a YouTube, TikTok, Instagram channel all about technology, specializing in smart home. So I absolutely love this stuff and it's my hobby all the time, especially with Home Assistant. So, yeah. And he knows a lot more than we do. So, with all that being said, Gage, the floor is yours. Take it away, man. Thank you. All right, before we get into the full specs of the Homey, let's talk about where we come from. So, back in the day, we had the three big players, Apple, Google, and Amazon, where you had to buy their device, their smart speaker, and buy their hardware, their smart plugs or light bulbs. So, if you were coming from one ecosystem to the other, it probably won't work. If I'm an iPhone user and someone gives me a Google Nest Hub, they're not going to talk together natively as well. They do a little bit better now, but still a little janky. And just think if you buy a house that has all this pre-installed and your smart home ecosystem doesn't work with it, you have to rip it all out and put in your own system, which is very expensive. So that's what the Homey is trying to solve. So the purpose of the Homey Pro is to be that bridge between all the different smart homes all the different ecosystems and protocols that are now out in the smart home. So there's now Zigbee, Thread, Z-Wave, all sorts of stuff. And that's where this Homey Pro comes in. You can take all that and put it into your specific smart home. So first of all, let's look at the design, the actual hardware. So this is plastic, but it looks really premium. And see that RGB right there? Love RGB. And this device, again, it's plastic with a glossy top on it, and it uses USB Type-C, which is absolutely needed. This device could live in your living room. Most other hubs that I have, I stick them, I hide them in a closet somewhere because they are not the prettiest. But this guy, I could put him in my living room and show him off and get people to ask about it too. But again, really good quality. Again, it's plastic, but that means it's cheaper for you. So I would give it about a 9 out of 10 in just how it looks. You know I mentioned about the USB Type-C on this? The great thing about USB Type-C is you can plug a whole bunch of stuff into this. And thankfully, as I said, this guy has Wi-Fi, but let's say you put him somewhere where your Wi-Fi is not really great. They also sell this dongle that gives it Ethernet that you just plug into the USB Type-C on the back. It has a USB Type-C pass-through on the back and gives you an RJ45 cable. So if you have Ethernet running throughout your house, that will make sure that your hub is connected to everything with blazing fast internet speeds instead of, you know, if you put this in your garage where the internet's not and it's not doing what you hope it does. All right, so setting up the Homey Pro is really simple. First thing you do is you plug it in. Once you see the RGB, you connect it to the app. So you have to download the app, create an account, and then once it's paired, you're starting. So at the beginning, you've got the home section which you can have favorite devices and timelines. So you can see when a device was triggered, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Then you have the button for your actual devices. And that is where you add all of your devices and you keep them all nice and organized. Then there's flows. Think of flows kind of like automations. Like if this door opens, turn on a light. If the door closes for more than five seconds, turn off the light, stuff like that. And then there's just a more tab. There's a lot of stuff here. You can see the battery life of your devices. You can see all sorts of stuff. Kind of get into the nitty gritty of the settings. So really intuitive app, really well made. I would say if someone told me Apple made this, I would believe them. And just as a precaution, make sure the devices you have will actually work with Homey Pro before you get one. Because sometimes Homey won't be able to control that smart home device and it's not really their fault. Third party companies sometimes hide their APIs behind a paywall so that you have to use their app or their system. So the Homey Pro will work with a lot of your devices, but I'd really not like you to get caught in that 1% where you buy this really cool camera system and it doesn't work just because Homey Pro can't access that. So again, I would do my research. And thankfully, Homey has a great page that they can show all the plugins that they have. All right, is the Homey Pro for you? So if you own a smart home, that is, let's say you have an iPhone and some HomePods and everything works in HomeKit, this is not really for you. If you have Androids and iPhones in your ecosystem, you've got Zigbee and Wi-Fi and Thread devices, that's where this thing comes in. This little guy can tie in all those devices together and make it a clean, simple smart home that everyone can control and you don't need 
20 gazillion apps on your phone and everyone's phone for that. So and let's say you're buying a new house or making a house and you want to make it smart. Instead of going with just one provider and whatever price they want to add, that's what it'll be. You can use something like Homey Pro and you can use Acara, which is really cheap Zigbee sensors for door sensors and all that. And then you can use Apple products for the other things. So if you want to tie in all your devices together and not use Home Assistant, which is a whole different topic, which is a lot of work, this guy might be for you. All right, let's talk about cost. The Homey Pro is $400. Now, now, before you close the video and leave, this might actually be worth it for you. They also have the Homey Bridge, which is $69, but it doesn't give you all the sensors that are inside this guy. This guy has practically everything, Thread, Matter, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi. The Homey Bridge doesn't even have Wi-Fi on it, and it doesn't even give you access to the app. The app is a subscription model, which would be $2.99 a month so that you can access everything that the Homey Pro gives you. So the longer you own a Homey Pro, it actually pays for itself off. And compared to setting up something like Home Assistant, which takes a lot of time on the front end, this guy might actually be an investment for your smart home. All right, and that is the review of the Homey Pro. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. If you want to follow me for smart home and Apple tech news, just follow me at iGadget, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I'll be there. And thank you to the tech bros for letting me crash their place. And I don't even know what I'm doing. So 